What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource, and if you're watching this on the day that it launched, then it would be January 1st, the first day of a brand new year. And I just wanna take this time and wish you guys a very happy new year. And I hope that 2018 becomes the best year yet for you guys. Whether you're gonna be accomplishing your goals that year, or at the very least, one step closer to achieving your goals or dreams. I do want to give huge thanks to my loyal subscribers out there who support me on every single one of my videos, regardless of the type of content. You guys are the true MVP to this channel's growth. I think last month we finished uh, very close to 8 million views and we racked up at least 30,000 subscribers, which is insane. And I plan to keep that momentum going throughout 2018 as well. My plan for 2018 is to bring better content for you guys and also relaunch some of the previous series that I stopped doing, like the overpriced tech, which I know a lot of you guys keep asking me for, PC Wars, and of course the most popular series still on the channel, which is the Ultimate Desk Setup. The last one I did was a Wolverine setup and it was very awesome. I think it's over a million views now. Check it out in case you guys missed it. But I have some really awesome ideas on the next few desk setups and I'm really excited to bring those to you guys. And finally, I do want to give a huge, huge thanks um, to every single person who supported Tamar and her family. I created a GoFundMe and every single person that contributed, you guys are seriously amazing. I, I really underestimated the support for my subscribers and from the bottom of my heart, I truly, truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, long story short, Tamar is one of my family members in Armenia, living in very poor conditions, and I created a GoFundMe to help support their family and also to get them through Christmas because, you know, I feel really bad. I did contribute to them a very, a, a good amount offline via MoneyGram, but I decided to make a separate GoFundMe and see if my subscribers can pitch in and help as well. But if you guys want to check that out, I'll drop a link below. It is not required at all. But again, I do want to give a huge, huge thanks. You guys have no idea how amazing that was. Uh, huge thanks to every single person that contributed. I love to keep a track and a list of people who contribute to things like that. So if you do contribute it, please forward me the receipt. Now I can write your name down and stuff. So anyways, I'm sorry for the very long intro. I just there's some stuff I needed to say because this is the first year of 2018. But anyways, welcome to Setup Wars episode 136. Let the Setup Wars finally begin. Kicking off the episode is Barry from the Philippines and his sick triple monitor setup that he uses for productivity and light gaming. The first thing I noticed from the setup is actually the keyboard that's hanging from the wall and I have no idea why. I mean, it's nothing crazy. I don't know why it sticks out. I guess I've just never seen it before. But anyways, he's rocking two Lenovo monitors that are hooked up against the wall and we got the late 2013 iMac which is powering the setup. The desk he's using is actually a dining table and there's definitely a lot going on there, but Barry did a great job organizing everything. He's using the Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard that he uses for gaming apparently, while he uses the Logitech K750 solar powered keyboard for productivity. He also has an Apple wireless keyboard that he uses with the Apple TV. He's got a few mice to choose from, the Razer Mamba Chroma for gaming and the Apple Magic Mouse for productivity, and he's using the Razer Firefly mousepad. Excellent work with the wire management from the keyboard and mousepad, by the way. Some other things on the desk include his Echo Dot, both of his smartphones, and a few Star Wars figurines for a balance. For audio, he's got quite the setup. He's got the Edifier X600 speaker system that he mounted against the wall. He's also mounted the AT2035 microphone and boom arm against the wall, which is genius. And he also has a few selection of headphones. The Vmoda M100 crossfades, which he uses for music and gaming, and the Bose QuietComfort 25s for when the neighbor's dogs are barking. So let me get this straight. You got headphones just to block out the noise of the dogs. That's pretty badass. Speaking of audio, he's also using the LG home theater system for his entertainment setup, which is right behind his actual setup. And over here, he's got the 40 inch Samsung TV hooked up against the wall, which he uses to watch videos through the Apple TV and also game on his consoles. He's rocking both PS3 and Xbox 360, which are wrapped in carbon fiber skins. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of that. Cable management is immaculate. He's done such a great job and you guys can tell he spent some time perfecting this. 
He even has a cable box underneath here and a UPS for protection against blackouts. I love Barry's attention to detail. There's some stuff in here that you probably didn't even notice, like adding cable clips for his XLR cable next to the audio interface and even cable clips for the wires on the ground. He's even installed wall raceways to cover up the cables from the wall mounted speakers and the TV. It really does seem like Barry cares a lot about his setup. I'm actually very impressed with this setup. Thank you, Barry, for entering. And if you guys want to check out more of his stuff, I'll drop a link to his YouTube channel down below. He doesn't upload often, but he does have some quality content that I think you guys might enjoy. Next up is Simon from Canada and his setup for studying, gaming, and doing YouTube. If reading the wallpaper wasn't obvious enough, he was going for a minimalistic setup featuring a single 27-inch monitor from LG that's hooked up to the Ergotron pole mount. And below that, he's rocking the Poker 60% mechanical keyboard with custom keycaps and the Logitech G900, which is actually wrapped in some vinyl skins. For audio, he's using a pair of Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers and the Sennheiser HD598 headphones, which are hanging from the side of the desk. Speaking of the desk, I kind of like it. He's using the Anthro Desk sit and stand base with the stained Gerton tabletop from Ikea. I'm not a big fan of wood tabletops, as you guys already know, but this actually looks pretty good. Great work with the cable management. I love the use of the Signum rack and the LED strips. And we also have the Focusrite audio interface attached under here, which he uses with his HD598 headphones. And finally, we got the PC powering it all, which is built inside this tiny Corsair 380T case, and it features the 4790K and a single EVGA GTX 1070 with 16 gigs of RAM. A very clean and minimalistic setup with purpose. Thank you, Simon, for entering. Sticking on the topic of minimalistic setups, we got Toby coming from Austria. He saved his money for five years in order to put together this setup from scratch. He is now 16, which means that he started saving when he was just 11. The result, a setup built for gaming and editing video featuring an ultrawide from Samsung, the Logitech G510 keyboard, and the Rocat tie-on mouse. He's also rocking my favorite pair of speakers in the world, the Luna Eclipse E25s in white, which look awesome by the way. He does have a mic setup with the Rode NT1A that's hooked up to a boom arm and his Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro headphones that are hanging from underneath the desk. Pretty good work with the cable management, even though it doesn't look that good, all the cables are off the ground so I can't really complain here. And finally, the PC powering everything has a 7700K and the MSI GTX 1080. I think the only thing that I'm impressed about is the fact that you had this much self-control to save your money for five freaking years and damn has it paid off. Great work and thank you Toby for entering. Toby number two is up next and for some reason his setup looks very familiar, but I can't really tell if he's been on the show or not so I decided to include it anyways. Toby is from Munich, Germany, and this is his gaming and productivity setup featuring two HP monitors. He's also got the Cherry DW8000 keyboard and the mouse combo with the Philips Universum boombox. That's pretty much it on the desk. I love that he used some sort of plank to support the boombox since there wasn't enough space on his desk. That's interesting. Another cool modification that Toby did to his desk was adding some sort of spacer between his desk drawer and the table to give it a levitating effect. And he actually used that extra space to throw in some RGB lights, which look very nice by the way. It also looks like Toby is a car enthusiast, judging by the wallpaper and the collection of cars on the shelf to his right. Very clean work underneath the desk and you even managed to hide your PC so that no one can make fun of you. I mean, I don't blame you. It's a pre-built and it's from HP. Ugh. A very clean and straightforward setup. Thank you, Toby number two, for entering. And by the way, HP, if you're watching, I don't hate you. If you guys are looking for a sponsor, <laughs> hit me up. <laughs> Wrapping up the episode is Zach and his gaming setup featuring a 25-inch monitor from Acer, the Thermaltake Challenger Prime keyboard, and the CyberPower gaming mouse. For audio, he's rocking the toner mic and the Blue Fire gaming headset, and a pair of cyber acoustic speakers with a subwoofer. I gotta say, for a 12 year old, this setup is badass. I mean, you got pretty much everything you need. You got speakers, headphones, a microphone, and a solid gaming rig, if I say so myself. It's running on the R5 1400 and an MSI RX 580 8GB variant. Not bad at all. If a 12 year old can keep a setup this clean and not have a bunch of wires sticking all over the place, 
then I shouldn't see a grown ass man with crappy cable management anywhere. You guys have no excuse. This is a very simple cookie cutter setup, but it works and I'm very impressed that you managed to keep it very clean. Thank you, Zach, for entering. And that pretty much wraps up this video. As always, make sure you guys drop your coolants, uh, drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. And I'll announce the winners on my social media platforms. Again, guys, I wish you a very happy new year. And I hope that 2018 is the best year yet. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love your faces. And I'll see you in the next one.